All right, good evening, everyone. This is Dave Lamoth, and I am doing a book review for my uh, channel this evening. Uh, if you are a new subscriber to my channel, I do welcome you, of course. And if you'd like, I, I do encourage you to hit the, the subscribe button down below as well, the no as well as the notification bell. Sorry, I seem to have a little too much caffeine this evening up at this point. Um... <laughs> Select the uh, subscribe button and notification bell anytime I put out uh, any new content for my channel. You will, will be alerted via email uh, concerning that. If you are a returning subscriber to my channel, I welcome you back. And thank you for coming back and joining me with this new content. Just to keep you a little bit informed on what's happening here, I'm still working on... The follow along series. I've I've had a couple uh, voiceovers and videos that I've done for that. Um, unfortunately, as of late, uh, a lot of the audio for those has uh, it did not quite come out the way that I'd wanted it. Um, so a lot of that has been scrapped up to this point. But I am not giving up on it. I'm, I'm trying to rework a little bit on that. Uh, as soon as I have something that I feel that I that, that's worth putting out there for my subscribers, I will do that for you. All right. Um, also, a shout out to a friend of mine, Roderick Z. He does have a channel called, uh, a podcast channel called The Far Side of Midnight. Uh, there he does do a, uh, some personal interviews with a variety of occultists and we also do some uh, panel chats there as well um, we just finished doing a first part or two of vampiric magic and uh, vampire discussion uh, we, we did the first part earlier this evening and we're looking to do a second part to that we also uh, to have discussions on a variety of magics, uh, gallery magic books, necromancy, uh, Luciferianism. Um, there's chats and folklore, mythos magic, and uh, just a variety of topics. So if that's something you might be interested in, I do encourage you to check him out. His podcast can be listened to on Spotify. Google Podcast, and Apple Podcast. I'll try to have a link to his Facebook page down below. Of course, I do encourage you to click on that and follow him. And again, if you know anybody who might be interested in that type of content, please share it with them as well. I'm sure he'd enjoy the uh, extra love and attention there. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this rather short book review, actually. And the book is titled At Satan's Altar, a collection of prayers, chants, affirmations, hymns, and rituals by Marie Ravensoul. This book was published back in 2018 by In Satan's Honor Press, which is located in Canada. And is a total of 191 pages. At Satan's Altar, a collection of prayers, chants, affirmations, hymns, and rituals is a collection of heartfelt and personal devotionals to the Lord of Darkness. Marie Ravensoul has been a disciple to Satan for over 30 years and presents the reader with a collection of prayers and chants and other writings that can be used to pay respects to Satan himself. The book itself is a extremely short read, uh, pretty much a, a simple two-page introduction with, that discusses in brief her wants and needs to bring this book into print. Uh, rather, uh, whether the uh, reader is a solitary newcomer to the path of Satanism or is a seasoned devotee working within a coven, there is a little bit of something here for everyone. Uh, roughly the first half of the book does compile a listing of prayers and devotional chants, hymns, and affirmations that one can use uh, throughout uh, different types of ritual work if you'd like. And the last portion of the book does contain uh, details 
such as setting up an altar to Satan, the an anointing ritual, a satanic baptismal rite, a Halloween ritual, and a dedication ritual. Finally, the book does outline a nine-day of solitary devotional rite. Should you be, again, a solitary practitioner or even someone that works within a coven and you just want to do some personal devotional work, um... There is a, a ritual in there that one can follow. Again, it, it is a nine-day solitary devotional there. As well as uh, some daily practice that one can do to become closer to the Lord of Darkness himself. Uh, I will uh, say that I personally found the book to be of a slight interest. Uh, simply from my left-hand path work that I do. Um, but then again, you guys also know that I do right-hand path work as well. But uh, when it comes to books, uh, I, I generally just don't buy books for the fun of it. Either something sparks my interest in it for me in order to purchase it. So um, I did find it a, of a little bit of interest there. So, uh, you know, again, my reason for the purchase and uh, for doing the book review here this evening uh, when I did make my purchase, I did purchase it through Amazon.com. At the time, the uh, initial cost of the book is $15.11. And then, of course, you do have taxes and shipping added on to that. Uh, the book is only available in soft cover paper format. Unfortunately, there is no ebook or Kindle versions at this time. And with that, folks, we're going to go ahead and call this book review pretty much done. Um, there's not too much that I really have to say on this. I haven't used uh, any of the prayers or uh, affirmations or anything like that, although I did go ahead and skim through a good amount of them. Um, you might want to go ahead and check the book out if that's something that you might want to add in your practice uh, that would simply be um, a suggestion there all right so with that folks i do bid you a very fond farewell uh, this evening peace love and infernal blessings take care bye